think I've discovered the the missing second half as to why Americans have all these warped, distorted, and incorrect views of what socialism or left-wing ideology or philosophy as a whole is. And the other half of the problem is American leftists who, rather than correcting people's misapprehensions and misunderstandings over what it is, have instead seem to have taken on the far right's caricature and gone, yeah, come at me, bro. I don't know if many of you follow the, the open source community, the open source software community. I don't particularly because I'm not very technically minded, but I'm kind of aware of it because it is essentially an anarchistic cooperative, a very left-wing idea in, in and of itself that produces software like like Linux, for example. I came onto my radar a bit more when I was using um, one of these open source software platforms on, on my old laptop a, a little bit, and then I became interested when the whole Drupal scandal hit uh, with a lot of condemnation and hatred towards a developer who was into BDSM and the Korean subculture. Obviously that intersects with my interests a bit, and I found the hypocrisy interesting how they would condemn and hate this person for his sexual proclivities but would elevate other people for their sexual proclivities it all seemed a bit odd anyway this kind of conflict has arisen again within the open source community with a new code of conduct being imposed uh, across these communities this open source community is very much merit based and very much open if, if you're good at something that's primarily what matters. Due to the semi-anonymity and the focus on merit, on code, rather than interpersonal behaviour and so on, this community has been something of a safe space, if you will, for neuroatypical people, people on the autism spectrum, Asperger's, and, and so on. And that's now being placed under threat by this code of conduct, which now brings in these requirements for all the social bullshit that we otherwise deal with with each other all the time, and which wasn't present in this area. Whether you consider that to be a problem or not, it certainly seems to have worked to produce good software, and has provided a, a place and a safe haven for people who think in this mechanistic, merit-led fashion, which is something that trends male. It's not entirely clear whether Autism is actually more common in men than women, but men seem to cope with it less well. So spaces like this are very important to them. Anyway, this is all a very roundabout way of getting to the point that I actually want to talk about, but I think it's important to give the background. The people who have promoted and pushed this new code of conduct, which does intrude and holds people responsible for things they've done outside the community, which is a rather sinister and Orwellian development, then it also pushes and subscribers to a manifesto that is anti-meritocratic in general. And lots of people seem to take that as being a left-wing position, the idea of equality of outcome, as many people like to put it. Well, I, I take issue with that. I don't think that's accurate. So here's the old-school lefty view on the whole thing. The left-wing view, even if you go to the extremes of some forms of communism, isn't that everybody is the same or that everybody should get the same. I mean, it, it's right there in you go, communist dogma from each according to his ability, implying that there is variable ability, to each according to his need, implying that there are variable levels of need. You know, it, it's, it's baked right in there even in communism, but we're not talking about communism, I just wanted to, to make that point. In left-wing philosophy and ideology as a whole, meritocracy is very much a part of it. We want people to be rewarded in a more commensurate fashion to the value of their labour, their work, their intellectual property, what they do, you know? That, that's what it's about, that's why trade unions and workers cooperatives and so on are all associated with with the left in terms of, of politics as, as a whole because they're seeking a fairer amount of value for the labor that they put in and the left-wing political philosophy agrees with that and thinks that they should get what they're worth 
in, in essence. You know, is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? It just, it just make, makes sense. Where the uh, misunderstanding and misinterpretation seems to come in is that the left is very much in favour of social investment. So, you know, everyone is provided for in at least a basic fashion, probably a bit more, because mere subsistence isn't enough uh, to be a fully realised human being. Um, but also, we, we want everyone to have the opportunity to flower into their fullest possible potential. So, in, in many current structures, if you're born poor, the odds are very much against you from the start. You're likely to have a poor diet, which can have a lifelong effect on your IQ, poorer measure as that is, uh, various types of development, you're more likely to die young. If you're poor, you're less likely to be able to exploit your native talents in, in education. You're less likely to have access to decent education and higher education and so forth. So the left is very much in favor of social investment in order to make sure that people with merit are able to exploit that merit, are, are able to, to flower it to its fullest potential, like I said. And the, the, the evidence is that this works very much. I mean, Americans like to think of themselves as being this very meritocratic nation where anyone can make it. Well, anyone can make it in any society, but it's more down to luck than judgment, especially in America. If you compare America's social mobility to other first world nations, it's pretty bad. You know, in, in America, if you're born poor, you're likely to stay poor and your kids are likely to stay poor and their kids are likely to stay poor much more than in other nations particularly Scandinavian nations, or Scandinavian nations, I should say, who do invest massively in their social infrastructure, in their education, and so on. These nations, which, according to this right-wing ideology, libertarian ideology, should be foundering, and where people should be stuck and oppressed, these are the places where people are better able to advance through the strata of society. If you're good at something, anything you're much more likely to have access to the education and the, the basic safety net and so on that will enable you to take risks and reach out and try and so you're far more likely to be more socially mobile in those nations that are left-wing and are socialist more so than countries like the states and increasingly the, Uni the united kingdom where our class structures are actually much more stratified it, it, it's easy to call bullshit <laughs> on, on these anti-meritocratic claims. Ask someone who they think would win. A team selected on a meritocratic <laughs> basis or a team s selected on a diversity basis or without regard to merit. I mean, that's an experiment we could perform. We could put together a hundred teams of people chosen on merit and a hundred teams of people chosen at random, give them exactly the same tasks, set them all off and see which group on aggregate solved the problem the fastest. You know, this is something you could actually do some reasonably solid social science on and, and get an answer. I, I mean, the, if they're remotely rational, they're going to have to admit that the meritocratic team is the one that's going to win. It's not a right-wing ideology merit. It, it, it's just not. It's as much left-wing ideology and I would say more a left-wing ideological point to be encouraging of merit and allowing everyone to, to reach that pinnacle of merit. I don't know why you would defer that to the right wing, why you would be against merit. And the people who are proposing this anti-meritocratic manifesto and who are trying to impose this code of conduct on this open very left wing in in practice if not in theory uh group yeah, they clearly have merit just not in programming if you can cause you know big corporations like microsoft and so on to quake in fear and and give in when you try to impose this archly political agenda uh, upon them then clearly you've got merit and you're missing your calling as an extortionist zang Morning, gentlemen. Now, what can I do for you? You've, uh, you've got a nice army base there, Colonel. Yes. We wouldn't want anything to happen to it. <laughs> Today, 
Which I, I, I don't like to, I, I have, okay, like a lot of you, I hate a lot, you know? <laughs> but I hate with style and creativity. <laughs> yeah!